Well, 95-year-old Jerry Lang of the Madison area moves like someone several years younger. He was one of 83 veterans honored on last week's Midwest Honor Flight trip to Washington, D.C. Kelly Lansantella introduces us to a man who spied on the Soviets. 95-year-old Army veteran Jerry Lang has a Ph.D. from La Universidad de Navarra in Spain, but he doesn't quite have the words to describe this Midwest Honor Flight experience in Washington. It was unbelievable. There aren't words enough to describe it. Jerry entered the Army in August 1946. We were rushed over to Japan to relieve the, the combat troops. Uh, one of the thinking uh, there was that you don't want combat troops occupying Japan. So a bunch of us two teenagers were given the GI Bill if we would <laughs> go over there for a year. The World War II era was colliding with the new reality of a chillier Cold War. We worked round the clock spying on the Russians, Morse code. Decades later, the father of four and grandfather to 13 is on this trip to D.C. with his son, Bob. He has a very uh, curious mind and is a lifelong learner, which I've tried to be. And uh, he has a heart of gold, which I likewise uh, try to have to the extent possible. The day has Jerry thinking about the nation as a whole. We have so many beautiful people in this country, and we should try to get along a little better. As the day's journey was about to enter its final chapters at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, Jerry was both lighthearted and reflective. The trip is almost over. We're about to fly home. What are you thinking about right now, Jerry? Uh, well, a nap on the plane. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I'm, I'm so grateful that my health has held up, even though I've had cancer twice. He might have been born before Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected president, but Jerry Lang is thriving in 2023. I guess I have a really good guardian angel is all I can figure. Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Dan still has two reports to bring you from last week's trip. They are set for uh, tomorrow and Thursday.